hey guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time tuning in then hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time tuning in, then hey girl, oh boy, how you doing? My name is Claudia and I do videos on beauty, fashion and a little bit of lifestyle. So if you're into any of those, you're definitely at the right place. I hope you stay, you subscribe and you become a part of the family. And if you're a returnee, a sabi honey, and thank you so much for stopping back. So today's video is our very first video for 2021 and I would just like to say Merry Belated Christmas and a Happy Happy New Year. I hope you guys have been doing great. We're truly blessed blessed to still be alive and I hope this year brings us nothing but all things beautiful period honey so I have been thinking of what video to actually do for my as my first video for the new year and um, I had a few videos in mind but then I was like girl you can't start out a new year looking at this the game I'm prepared I need a self-care day like a pamper day and today that's what we'll be doing we'll be taking care of ourselves pampering ourselves just getting back into our groove okay so i'll be doing a full on pamper pamper day or self-care day whatever you want to call it um by the way so i just woke up from a afternoon nap my husband gave me a nice food massage because i told him like i am super exhausted like i need a pamper day i need a self-care day and i've been missing like self-care day if you follow me on instagram you would know that i was so big on skincare and self-care days that i had one day of the week dedicated as my self-care day where i'll just do like a face peel or a face mask anything to do with self-care um do my hair or whatever and just relax for an hour and a half or two hours just for myself like doing nothing reading a book or taking photos or just eating my fruits and you know just relaxing so i want to get back into that because i really enjoyed it so so much so yeah we're gonna get our roof back because we have a lot to do for this year my year is officially starting now so let's get into this Okay, so before we get into the pampering and all, before I show you the disaster that's going on here, let me just, I apologize for the dogs barking guys in the background, but there's nothing I can do at this point. So let me just show you, I have like, let me just do like a mini haul. I basically have like five, six items. Um, so yeah, so I decided to go to this game yesterday. Something big happened yesterday and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit later on. So I decided that this self-care day is actually gonna be the first thing that I need to do because you know how important self-care is for all of us. Um, if you don't go, you need time for yourself. You need to take care of yourself because if I don't have any energy or if I'm not like put, well put together, I will definitely neglect my family. Like I know that for a fact. I've been on the couch the entire day like every single day and i'm tired of that i want to get back to staying busy consistent and all that stuff but anyways um i went to this camp yesterday and i got me some goodies that i'll be using in today's video and i'm just going to show you real quick what i got so the hair products that i normally use for my natural hair taking care of my natural we're going to start with that i'm going to show you in a bit how the mess that's going on but i use dark and lovely's um natural hair product uh, dark and lovely's products for natural hair i love 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 this dark and lovely hair products if you have like 4c or whatever natural hair 4c 4d 4e or whatever because i feel like my hair went from 4c to 4e um then you definitely want to go for dark and lovely their products are so gentle on your natural hair they smell incredible i love the mangoes and the peach flavor yeah this is mango and bamboo milk this smells so so good i love dark and lovely honestly i'm obsessed and i don't think i'm ever gonna like not you have dark and lovely i'm a person that loves experimenting with other stuff but my dark and lovely will always be in my drawer so this is just a three-in-one cleansing and conditioner but this is something old i don't know if you guys can see it is like halfway here so i normally buy dark and lovely products but then yesterday when i went to this camp i knew i know that my hair is so brutal guys when i tell you i haven't been taking care of myself i'm not even lying my hair the only time that my hair gets water is when i'm in this pool and then in the shower and after that i will not even moisturize my hair like i used to like my oils and all that my diy hair oils or anything i would not do that at all like i'll just braid my hair in cornrows every a second day take out the cornrows comb out my hair braid them back into cornrows 
that is how I've been living for the entire uh, festive time as well as this few days, um, this few weeks in January. So I have been neglecting my hair and they've been so dry and brutal and even breaking down and they have so many knots. I told myself like, oh, you need to snap out of this. Only last year is when I started realizing like I actually enjoy taking care of my natural hair. So I then saw this brand, Mera. I think that's how you pronounce it, the Mera brand. But normally it would be like um, Amla oil. Um, so I saw this one, it's the coconut oil. Coconut oil range, I think, because they have the Amla oil I saw and I saw, I also saw a bamboo oil. I don't know. So I just saw the Amla oil and I don't know what the other one was. And then I saw this coconut oil one and I thought this would be perfect because it says for dry damaged hair. This is the conditioner. It has chai seed and coconut oil in it. This is how it looks like. And I love the gold, the touch of gold. This is just so cute. It looks so fancy, so pleasing. And then I also got the shampoo as well. Also for damaged hair damaged and dry hair this just looks so beautiful and i love the henna print and stuff like that so cute um so i'm super excited to try out this for my hair and see how it works and yeah just try giving my hair something new then i also just got a shower cap because i needed one i needed a new one so yeah it's just a normal shower cap and then i bought like i told you i love dark and lovely i just saw this this is my first time actually seeing this it is a moisture right it says moisture right um no this is in another language moisture right deep nourishing mask for our natural hair and this is how it looks like oopsie i hope it's focusing how the inside looks like oh my word but this is African shea butter and almond oil. It smells incredible. So I'm gonna mask my hair as well. And I have been using, I used, I used to use hair food in my, you know, in the days. My mom would buy hair food and all that. I stopped using that and I'm just using oils. But then I thought, let me get it. Like, why would I not want to get hair food anymore? I also got the Dark and Lovely Grow Strong Hair Food. It's an anti-break age with oils and vitamins in it. So this is how it looks like I like to smell oh it smells so good it says here a new melt in formula so I'm super excited to try this out and then I just had to stock up on my eco styling gel I use the so when I was in Spain I bought one from Amazon the one with the black top I think it's with is it with black seed oil, flexi, flexi oil, flexi oil? I think it has flexi oil in it and then a little bit of glitter like shines. That one works so nice for my hair. But I never see it here in clicks or in discan. So this is the one that I optioned for with the green top. This is the olive oil one. So yeah, this is just the gel that I also got for my hair. Then I just got a bath sponge as well because I need to exfoliate my skin, my body, and I also need to shave, like I'm so hairy, I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> Your girl has become a cave woman. If you haven't heard about Passion Pro, they're a new makeup brand in this camp, super, super affordable. Um, this is one of the palettes that I picked up um, from them. It is, it retails for 50 rands. Um, this is an, the first one that I got, haven't used it yet as well, so yeah. I just have these two palettes from Cashew Pro. Then I got me a brow pencil, but this says medium brown. So I'm going to use this for my lips, I think, because I don't like my eyebrows. So because I have jet black eyebrows, so I think I should just use my black pencil for my eyebrows. So it doesn't look weird, like black and brown mixed or whatever. So yeah, this is by Kiss, uh, Professional, Kiss New York or Professional Kiss New York. Um, it's also the brand in this scan because I couldn't find them on Instagram. I think this is showing upside down. I'm not sure. And then I have the Elego Pro Concealer. I took this in a light ivory because I need an eyeshadow base. I'm going to get into that when we start out with makeup. And then I also grabbed a new... Uh, mascara from Essence. This is the Super Curl Volume Mascara and it says eye opening. So for us with really short, I'm sure you can't even see my, my own lashes. 
um, for us with the really short eyelashes. I think this is gonna work. And then also from RK by Kiss. I also couldn't find them on Instagram, but there's an Instagram post that I did about this lip liqueur. So I decided to get this um, orange one as well. These are the other ones that I got the first time, but I haven't used them yet. And they are nice and creamy, velvety, but it says it's a matte lip liqueur, but they are nice, nice and velvety. So yeah, I also did a swatch of this one on my Instagram, so you can definitely check that out. This one's retail for $24.95. And I don't know the others what they retail for. So that's what I got from the scam. Yesterday, yesterday guys, I actually want to show you the thing when I'm talking about it. So yesterday I went and I did, um, I went for my driving license appointment and I finally got my driver's license. So I am so excited. I'm so happy guys. I failed I think twice and then I have one learner's license that expired. I can say I failed three times but I for the driving test I failed twice because my nerves always gets the best of me. I feel like this video is going to be way too long but I missed being here and talking to myself so I don't care if it's long. I hope you guys don't mind, okay? I hope you also missed my mouth running. So anyways, um, I got my license, so my husband was with me and my baby because we, my mom wasn't here. Uh, my mom was home, so we went, um, he, he dropped me off and then I told him like to go because I was so nervous, I was like, just go, just go home, go somewhere, I'll call you when I am depressed, when you have to come pick me up before I run in front of a truck or whatever because the the fail that we don't take failure very well some of us we don't take failure very well so um he went and he bought me flowers and then he, he actually told me he just went to buy flowers i don't know why not champagne also but he just bought flowers and then um he bought me four four other items i'm going to show you right now I asked him like how did you know i wanted this he was like every time we go to checkers you always go to that section like i always go to the pottery section you know those stuff and I'm always like, oh my god, because the stuff, the pottery, the the vases and stuff like that, they're always they they have like stickers on for 150 rands marked off, and I'm like, I'm just gonna wait for them to come down a little bit more, at least 100 rands or a little bit less than, then I'm gonna buy it because I'm not gonna buy a lot of them for my for my beauty room and for the living room or whatever. So I'm not gonna buy one vase. 450 so he saw the vases he wanted to buy them because he's always like just buy so you can stop talking about it when we get to checkers i was like no don't don't play with my budget because i want to be affordable on my channel as well so you know let me wait so he went there he was initially gonna buy the ones for 150 and they were even marked they were marked off even more so he got me those and then i'm not sure if you guys I'm, i i think you guys already know this um what do they call it this book holders like fake books or whatever books, those Chanel, you know, those designer books, Chanel, whatever, right? that people use for their backgrounds, that makes for aesthetics and whatnot. He got me two of those books, but not the, the, but not the, the designer ones. He just got me this ones, and I'm actually obsessed. Honestly, I'm obsessed. I was so happy when I when he got me this. I was like, if I failed. Would you have still gotten me this? He said, if you fail, it will still be being yours because I can't take it back. So, this is the first, I think it's a vase, right? Yeah. So, this is the first vase. I think this is a vase. I'm not sure. Do you call them vase or whatever? But I'm going to call it a vase. This is the first one that he got me. This is nice and tall. And I love stuff with texture. I'm just going to get close up so you can see. So you can actually see the color and the texture. And it was reduced to 80 rands from, I don't know, it was 200 and something, then it went to 150 and I'm 80 rands. There's another one that I wanted, but he said um, he could only find this one and then others had like blue and all that. So yeah, this one would look so nice with pampas grass or whatever inside. I hope I don't break it. And then this is the other cute one that he got me. So the colors are the same. Um, the lighting is different, but it's so nice. And this one was reduced to 50 rands. And yeah, this is the top, the opening, nice and small. 
This is super cute. You can just stand next to the taller one and yeah. So this is how they would look to, next to each other. So cute. I'm super happy for this because I really need to start getting this room together. And then this I am really obsessed with. So he got me this one. It says New York. Um, and this is just like a few buildings and statues from New York. The Statue of Liberty and stuff like that of New York in New York. This is how it looks. It's like silver here. And I can store my earrings or whatever in here. That's what I love about this. So this one is in a... It says book a book box New York medium. It's a medium size. And then he got me this tinier one. It says Paris and the Eiffel Tower um, buildings. And then it's also silver here. This is how it looks like on the inside as well. This is so cute. I love, I actually love this more than I love the Chanel and white white ones because I know I don't care about design and stuff. I'm honestly not one to care about that. I think the small one went for 130. I saw on the sleep, and then this one was 170. Right? And he said that they only had this two because he wanted three, like like a large one, then the medium and the small. But he could only find this two, and I am so happy. And for the flowers as well, the flowers are on our dining table right now. I placed them in a in a vase with water. So yeah, those are that's the mini haul. Um, from Discam and Checkers. Now I'm going to show you my hair. Okay, don't be surprised. I'm going to show you my hair and I'm going to undo my this cornrows. So, <laughs> this is what we are dealing with. This is my hair. It has been in cornrows for the past two weeks. This is the bag. My hair is so dry and I don't know if you can even hear. Can you hear that? So I am going to undo this hair. I'm going to jump into the shower and or just wet, no, not jump into the shower. I'm going to wet my hair. I'm going to wash my hair with shampoo first and then I am going to apply the mask. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but I'm going to do it that way. I don't care. And then my skin, guys. Phew. Let me get close. My skin has also been going through the worst because I've not been doing any skincare routine. I hate myself for that, honestly. Um, I don't know if you can see the bags under my eyes as well. I don't know why I'm so exhausted because I think I'm exhausted of doing nothing, honestly, and just cleaning the house all day. Before I forget, I wanted to show you the product that I always apply or put in my hair for a treatment, and it is the Original Hair Mayonnaise. This is how it looks like. So this treat, uh, it's a treatment for weak damaged hair. It has natural herbs in it, olive oil and egg protein. I love using this, this stinks. I'm not gonna lie. It stinks, but I love using it. You can get this from either Discam or Cliques. I get it from Pep. It's more, it's like 20 rands, I think, cheaper. It doesn't smell nice. It doesn't stink, stink, but it doesn't smell nice at all. I buy it at Pep stores. Um, because I feel like it's it's like 20 rands cheaper at Pep than you would find it at your pharmacies. So yeah, but today I'm not going to use this. Oh, I don't know if I should mix this and this. This one is a nourishing mask. This one is a treatment. I think I'm going to use them both. My hair needs all the moisture it can get. And at this point, I'm willing to use whatever I can get. So for my face, um, I don't know if I already mentioned that I haven't been taking care of it. I haven't done any skincare routine since um, last year. I don't know. I think the beginning of December, I haven't done a skincare routine. I ran out of my toner, face toner, and then I just stopped using my moisturizer as well. Um, I honestly hate myself. Honestly hate myself for doing that. So what I've been doing for my skin is just washing it with my green, you know, the sunlight soap, green bar sunlight soap, and then applying my Nivea sunscreen. That's all I have been doing, honestly. No moisturizer, no nothing. Water and sunscreen. And yeah, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back into my groove. Okay, so my hair is, so I'm done undoing my hair and it's so brutal. 
I can actually feel, I can hear it. <laughs> My hair just went from like 4C to 4E. I feel. So let me just detangle it a little bit and then I just want to show you guys. I'm not sure if you can see how dirty my scalp is my hair is so dry by the way i also do have a few videos recorded like a cook with me video spend the day cooking with me like breakfast no spend the day cooking with me i did lunch and dinner because i normally have cereal for breakfast i don't really care anymore about breakfast oh my god what happened to me and then i also did dessert and stuff like that but i never got to putting that onto my laptop and then editing it so lazy then i also do have a video of how i painted this room from the color it used to be which i think was beige or cream i'm not sure to this white and what a mess it was getting that paint off of the floors um and then i had a video of video of where I collected a furniture piece, like a second-hand furniture piece that I bought off of a Facebook page, like second-hand store page, for like 450 rands, or 400 rands, I think. It is a like a occasional chair, beautiful, but it has been, like the cats messed it up because it was a leather chair. I'm gonna show you, the color is bright, it's like a red, and I'm gonna cover that up um, I also have pieces of recordings where I have my tables, where I got my furniture, chest of drawer, and this little table right here, and then also my table um, study desk, and I ended up covering the tops because I hated the guy. The guy messed up, honestly. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get to editing those videos if they're going to be confusing i don't know but i'll see as time goes and just throw that in for you guys to have content while i start planning out this year's content and yeah that is basically it so let me go wash my hair real quick and then i'm going to come back and apply the mask or I don't know, should I apply the treatment? I think I'm going to apply the treatment first. Or should I apply the mask first? I don't know, because both of them, you need to leave them in your hair. Hmm. I shall see which one I'll apply first, then leave it on, and then we're going to move on to the skin because I want to exfoliate. I want to steam. I want to um, use my facial brush. Well, exfoliating and using my facial brush is a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to choose which one I'm going to use, which one to use. But I want to exfoliate. I want to steam. I want to use a um, face mask, like um, a clay mask, and I want to use a shape mask. Then I want to remove this hair. Okay, I am very hairy all over my body. I want to remove my hair. I want to scrub my body. I want to lay in a nice bath with my music playing in the background, period. <laughs> so let me go wash my hair before my baby wakes up and all my plans get destroyed okay so i'm in my bathroom the lighting sucks um because there's a cupboard right here and it kind of blocks the light like that um so i don't know if i'm going to show you guys how i go about washing my hair because the basement is just like this it's small massage um thingy massage brush scalp 
massage brush that I got from Diskem. I think it was 15 rands. One five. Oh my word. And this helps with blood flow. I feel like getting all the dirt off of your scalp as well, like the dandruff and stuff. And just gets hits the right spots. Oh my god. To when I shampoo my hair, I use my detangling brush also from Diskem. I think it was also really affordable. Don't know the price, don't remember the pricing, but I think 30 or 50 rands. mask for now otherwise I'll have to otherwise I'll have to keep in the dark and lovely mask and then I have to keep in the mayonnaise treatment it's gonna take me a long time like five seven minutes each so yeah I'm not gonna do that now so this is how much I'm gonna take this is how much I took from the dark and lovely hair mask and I'm just gonna apply it because it says apply to clean does it say clean I don't think it says clean wet hair let me just read the instruction here it says apply generous amount on clean wet hair yes it does say so and massage from roots to tips um, leave on for five to seven minutes rinse well and style as desired okay so I'm just gonna apply it like you would normally apply relaxer or gel, whatever. Oh, this smells yummy. <laughs> Push back one. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna grab my shower cap. This looks so cute. I, I'm thinking of using my old shower cap, but it's super ugly, so I'm gonna use this new one. And I'm gonna leave this on until I'm completely done with my entire routine. So it needs to sink in. I'm gonna leave this on until I'm ready to wash it off. <laughs> I'm gonna waste like that. And this is how much product I have left. I think I can still go one round some other day. I'm gonna show you the amount of hair that I just came out. This is the amount of hair I just shed that just came up that I just lost. So I am back. I went and grabbed um, a pot of hot water. Like I boiled my water in the kettle and I added into this steaming pot because we're taking it back to the olden days i don't own a face steamer yet but i did see one on an instagram store for 200 for like 200 rands i'm gonna get that one as soon as possible um but anyways i have my hot hot water in this pot i have my towel here so i can cover up my head and like steam for at least i don't know five six minutes i don't want to steam too long and then after the steaming I'm gonna use my common beauty facial epitome and brush set like my brush uh, face brush actually um, this is how it looks like it's a little bit dirty because I used it and I didn't clean all the brushes but anyways I'm still gonna show you um, oh it's really dirty okay so this it comes with this I need to get the names of everything so this is the exfoliating brush. I did uh, show this on an Instagram story, on my Instagram story as well. Cut on the self-care cut. So I'm gonna use this. This is the exfoliating brush. Um, then this one is for like sensitive skin, the pink one, sensitive one. This is the beauty sponge and it cleanses the skin pores, um, the deep skin pores, I think, yeah. So this one is just the facial brush. It says on the box that it's eight times better than manual cleansing your hands, than using your hands, your fingers to actually clean, clean your face. So yeah, but I, like I said, I'm gonna use the exfoliating brush. I'm gonna be as gentle as possible. And this, I'm just gonna screw on here. So they actually, it actually has this little, it actually has this little button that you can just press and remove it and then put the other pieces on and then you just switch it on and off it like vibrates um yeah okay so this is what i'm going to be using the products that i'll be using are new products a new addition to my skincare and i'm super excited to start using this and see how it goes because i already gave the wash scrub and mask a go and i am obsessed i am obsessed the day that i bought it yesterday when I got it yesterday, I was like so curious to see what it actually, how it actually works and I am obsessed. I'm honestly sold. It's from the African Extract Rooibos brand, um, South African Support Local, it says there. It is locally made. I love that about it. So I bought this three-step oil control starter kit and it has a face wash, it has a spot control face wash in it it has a toner in it and it has a dual action um moisturizer in it and they all have a, they all with bioactive rooibos and a bamboo extract that's what they all have in and what i love is that they are paraben free and they're also vegan so i'm going to use this this one says it reduces the oil helps clears the spots and unclogs the pores it's for oily and problematic skin and uh, this is the wash scrub and mask it's a three in one it's a wash it's a scrub or you can wear it as a mask um this one i already said this cleans impurities helps prevent blemishes for everyday use um yeah it also just says dermatologically tested so this is the face wash i'm gonna put the prices on the screen if i can find them this came this is the toner this is how the toner looks like. This is quite tiny um, because I just wanted to give it a try, but I am sure that I'm going to love this and I might just get the bigger ones, you know, bigger tubs. 
to have enough because this is how small they are compared to the normal size. Um, this is a face wash. This is the moisturizer. This is the toner. This is the three in one wash, scrub, and mask. Okay, so I went ahead and rinsed off the mask. My skin feels so soft. Oh my god, I'm not pretty, you guys. Okay, I just completely dried my face. I'm gonna wet it a little bit and then I'm gonna apply the clay mask. So the mask that I'll be using will be either one of this from Freeman Beauty. Um, this one is a cleansing. Um, clay mask plus scrub. It has apple cider vinegar in it. It's a multitasking mask. It instantly tones, purifies plus mattifies for a flawless complexion. Then this one is a detoxifying charcoal plus black sugar mud mask. This instantly removes impurities plus nourishes for renewed skin. This is a 10 minute mask and this says it's a multitasking mask so I can have this on for a little while while I, while I go about doing my stuff and yeah I think I'm gonna go for the charcoal mask I don't remember using this yeah I try I used it on my mom this one I've tried out maybe three times and I actually enjoy it um, so I'm gonna wet my face come back apply this mask and then we're gonna head over to my bathroom to fill up the top Okay, so my face is damp. Um, I have my makeup brush here. Just gonna squeeze out some of this. The lighting is killing me, honestly. I'm so sorry, guys, if the lighting keeps on changing. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what else to do so I'm done putting on the mask and it's, up, it's already drying up I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, hair removal cream on my legs my arms armpits you know and then I am gonna wait a few minutes before I jump into the shower remove that then jump into the bathtub so when I say this is my self-care day this is what I mean all about me okay I'm taking care of myself also, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is this sugar lip scrub. It's the sugar lip scrub. So the sugar lip scrub is from Beauty Treats. And this is the watermelon flavor, the, my most favorite fruit. Um, I'm going to put this to my lips. Scrub my lips a bit. Leave it on while I do all the other stuff. And then I'm going to remove it. Later. Okay, we have hair mask on, check, face mask, check, sugar lip scrub, check, and now we're gonna go and 
stuff I left that high, let me bring you guys a bit down. We're gonna remove the hair. <laughs> Let's remove the hair, guys. Let's go and remove all this hair. I just wanna show you like a before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, my legs are so hairy. I'm not even gonna show you before or whatever. So. Okay, so we're in my bathroom and as you can see that corner over there has a lot of my baby's products because I just grab his bath top, I place it in here, I bath in here. It makes it so much easier and I avoid mopping floors. So I'm going to remove all that and just put it on this side. I also do have towels fold over here. I'm going to remove that real quick and yeah. <laughs> cupboard somewhere downstairs but I do have this one this is a cinnamon candle that I got from a surprise home maybe a year and a half ago I love the smell of cinnamon um, then I do have this tiny candle from Pep it has a, a vanilla scent this is how it looks like and this was $24.99 it's like in a heart shape super cute um, and then I also do have the other cinnamon candle that melted um, that I just placed in here, that I placed in a pot. I boiled it in a pot and then I placed it in this glass vase. So I'm going to let this as well. Okay, so let me just go get a lighter. Let up this three candles. Um, I have one more in the other room. And then I'm going to close up the curtains, the blinds, so we can get that you know that feeling in here or whatever my husband's standing here with the baby they are not going to take away my shine okay, this is the other candle that i also got from pep um i don't know what scent this is but it just said luxury candle on top this is how it looked looks like on the inside um and it also smells really good i think i'm gonna put this one here i'm just so i'm just a little bit afraid of having the candles lit yeah because my baby's gonna join me a little bit later on so i think i'm gonna blow out some when he gets here and then the last bit of my vanilla and ginger foam bath um so this is how it looks like got this from clicks from i got this from checkers and then i haven't used this i am so excited to try this this is the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Body Scrub. Exfoliate and renew and it is with lavender inside. This is still closed. Okay, it doesn't smell so nice, but lavender scent is there. I am so excited for this. And then for my husband's birthday, that's what I bought for his birthday because I wanted to give him a pimper day. But man being man, he was not interested. He just wanted to play PlayStation, so I left him. I also bought him the Oh So Heavenly. I also bought him the bath milk. Oh well, I bought it for us. And it is the it is by and the brand is the Oh So Heavenly uh, brand. It is a peachy flavor. I hope you guys can see. This is how it looks like. I got this from Clicks. Yes, I got this from Clicks. So these are the stuff that I'm gonna be using in my bath. These are old roses that my husband bought and I didn't want to throw away the rose petals. So I placed them, I placed them in, I placed the old rose petals in this jar and then I added a bit of uh, my essential oils like the citronella oil and i think citronella and tea tree oil i just added a few drops in here and it smells so nice the, the leaves are actually dried up but i'm still going to use this so let me apply the hair removal cream and then i'm going to get back to you guys and we're going to continue here okay also, I forgot to show you guys the hair removal cream that I'll be using, and it is by Vite. Um, 
it is it says sensitive skin body and legs i don't know if they have another one this exfoliates and moisturize the skin and and you can leave it on for five you leave it on for five minutes so i'm going to apply this my arms and my legs and my arm teeth that i don't want to show um and yeah then i'm going to jump in the shower get that off and then jump into the bath okay guys i just wanted to show you this is how i look like my armpits my arms and my legs and my legs i'm literally a walking fart bag like i stink but i'm gonna wash my hands because i used my hands to apply it i'm gonna wash my hands with some soap and all that and then um i'm gonna start filling up the top okay Okay guys, so here's the thing, I had to go downstairs to help my husband, like to guide him because he was kneading the dough and I went with the cream on my body, I was thinking, I'm honestly not kidding, I was thinking and then I started itching a little bit, so I had to just run into the shower immediately and I haven't filled my tub but I'm going to fill it right now because I'm still going to go and lie down in the tub. My hair has a lot of like this long strands that I'm going to trim off in another video on another day. I'm honestly not going to do it right now. I, As you can also see, I did remove, wash off the face mask because I was in the shower. Obviously, it's going to get wet. And yeah, what I'm going to do right now is apply my conditioner. And let me tell you something about that mask of Dark and Lovely. My hair is hydrated like honestly it is treated it just stretched my hair so much but anyways let's go in with the conditioner i'm gonna apply this put it back on my my shower cap oh i'm gonna apply this put it back on my shower cap and we're gonna go in the bathtub um, i don't know what it is with me and razors i can like apply hair removal cream but then i just end up using my razor as well because I want to make sure I get every piece of hair off and now I have like a lot of bumps and uh, yeah I have a lot of bumps that are like black and stuff like that that turned out that always that sometimes become pimples and stuff so I'll definitely have to stop using the razor putting on my shower cap I'm gonna leave my shower cap on until I'm done um, and then I maybe have to jump back into the shower. I don't know. I'm gonna rinse off my hand the best night when I'm done. So I'm gonna wash up my hands right now. Fill up my tub. It's already nighttime, but I don't care. It's my cell care and my pimpati. Period. <laughs> so whilst my water is running in the back, can you see um, all this dryness? Well, it's still from the mask. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face. And this time I'm going to use the Spot Control Face Wash by um, African Extract, the Boy Boss brand. Because so I'm going to wet my face and then I'm going to apply that to my face. Okay, now that my face is wet. Oh, I haven't opened it yet. This is how the product looks like, the face wash looks like. Like a transparent Boy Boss. <laughs> with water i'm just gonna add the uh, foam bath and the bath milk and then i'm done um so i have quite a few face masks that i want to see which one to give a go so this is by yours beauty i love the packaging by the way 
and it is the Honey Hydrate Trio um, pack. I think I'm gonna use one of this. I have been keeping it for a special occasion, which I don't know when would be when it would be, but I think I'm gonna use one of this. These are the other masks that I have that I got from this game by Curet. Um, it's an avo mask, a banana. Banana is the moisturizing, the avo is the lifting mask. Um, then the broccoli is the glow mask. I have this one from Woolworths Food. It's a hydrating and restore sheet mask. Okay, this is from Freeman Beauty. The Comic Holographic Pill of Mask by Symphony Beauty. It is a coconut mask made in Korea. And yeah, then I just have the hydrogel eye patches, which I want to use tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to put them in the fridge. And then, yeah, I'm going to. It's either one of this ones or one of the uh, three from Yol's Beauty. Let me see. And Yol's Win. Period, honey. <laughs> so I'm going to use one of this mask by Yol's. Super excited. I've been wanting to use them. Oh, they look so nice. This is the Soothing Aloe Honey Hydrate Mask. Um, okay, they are all bamboo sheet masks. This house for acne prone and sensitive skin. Oh my god speaking to me this one is the pomegranate brightening honey hydrate mask and this helps for dark marks and uneven skin tone i feel like for yours you make this mask just for my skin type avocado the moisturizing avocado honey hydrate mask it hydrates thirsty skin so i'm gonna show you up close how they look like this is the first one I hope this camera is focusing. This is the first one, the Evil one, moisturizing avocado one. This is the second one, it's the brightening pomegranate um, mask. This is the third one, the soothing aloe sheet mask. I think I'm gonna go with the, mm -mm. I think I'm gonna go with the aloe vera one, with the aloe one because it helps with, it's for acne prone and sensitive skin. She's talking to me. It has so much moisture. I can like feel that how it's so moisty, how it's so moisty in here. That's even a word, but yeah. I'm super excited to try this out. But let me put this on when I am in the bathtub um, and I don't need to move a lot. Excited. Okay, so both candles are lit. I'm gonna get my foam bath. This is actually long. This is a long thing inside. I'm just gonna sit on it. I'm just gonna drizzle it in there, finish it up. I was actually supposed to add this whilst the water was running, but okay, well. Just gonna shake it up like that. And now I'm adding the bath milk. It's thick and creamy. I think that's enough. I'm going to drizzle some of my dried up roses that has citronella oil, essence oil in it. This I just have to remove before I bring my baby in. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like. Over here we have my baby's side and over here it's my side. So he just has a snack and his bottle of water. And over here I have my shit mask from Yold's Beauty. I have a snack for myself, some juice, my candle in the back. I have my music box right there and my towel my body scrub and the scrub for my heels as well because we all know it's really important to get all that dead skin off and then that's my bath with my bath sponge in there as well so i'm going to switch off the lights see if it looks nice and then i'm just going to put on some music i'm about to jump into the bathtub but i'm first going to put on my mask oh look at all that moisture my God. Oh my word. Oh my God. It smells so good. I never knew all the girls 
went ahead and took this pack and then I took out the last bit of um, juice that was left and I applied it to my skin um, and I'm honestly loving it I also went ahead and washed off the conditioner from my hair so I just need to moisturize my skin and continue with my face routine okay so for the face I'm gonna go in with the African extract um, from Rebos so it's the dual action moisturizer and I think I opened it now. Just gonna take a bit like that. It smells so nice, but it's not that overwhelming because I hate products that are so super fragranted. So I'm done moisturizing my face and I feel like I still need a little bit of this lip scrub because I can still feel like some dead skin on my lips and I'm just gonna scrub to moisturize my lips I'm gonna use the Catrice Cosmetics Dewy Full Lips it's a conditioning lip butter with shea butter in it this is how it looks like I actually love this even when I do my makeup because it's a cute nude but it is not a matte. I am about to moisturize my skin, my body, and the moisturizer that I'll be using is the Vaseline Intense Care Cocoa Glow with pure cocoa and shea butter in it. So I already moisturized my skin. It is nice and soft. I smell like vanilla, cocoa, cinnamon, cupcake. <sighs> it's all deliciousness going on here. Love, love, love. I'm so moisturized and I feel super soft. So I'm just going to give like a quick review of all the things that I use. Firstly, this Dr. Teal's um, Epsom Salt Body Scrub and Exfoliator. I would recommend definitely this did wonders it was just so nice to use i could feel how it went it penetrated into the skin like it took off the all the dead skin then um for the hair and i'm not done with my hair yet but uh, this too i definitely recommend um the shampoo i love more because it formed it formed up so nicely but then the conditioner left my hair super super soft like silky soft so I definitely recommend them both um, it is the Mera uh, brand from the coconut oil range so I definitely recommend them both then the skincare products girl you better get onto it like just try it out the African extract um, rooibos products I love I love I honestly love them um, I'm gonna see if there would be any improvement but I'll still definitely stock up on them just to have them handy for when I want to feel like my skin has been well taken care of like it is super soft it's moisturized and yeah a definite recommendation I'm gonna give you guys a skin update okay so I did the skin and the body and all that um, the deodorant that I use is so this is what I use from Mitchum. Um, I have the I think the roll I have the roll on and I have the aerosol spray. So this is what I use as deodorant. Uh, this is my hair. 
I know I look weird, but it smells so good. Oh my god, I smell, I smell yummy. From head to toe, I smell so good. But I'm gonna use the hair book from Dark and Lovely. Once more, smells amazing. Gonna use that much. It melts on your hands. It said something like that on the top. because I'm going to bed. I don't want to mess up my pillows. That's how much it wants. till tomorrow it's still a little bit wet but i love that i love that everything is going to dry together the oils and the hair food is going to dry together so let me just redo this and now i'm going to throw on my the durang i call it my silk scarf i am done that is the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did kindly give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already as well as hitting the notification bell right next to you so you can always be notified once i upload a new video also do leave a comment down below let me know what you thought on self-care days or pamper days it doesn't always mean that it has to be fancy or that you have to go out to a spa to have like a self-care day you can do whatever even if it's just doing your nails or doing your hair or masking or whatever and just taking like 30 minutes of your day maybe with a cup of tea standing outside in the fresh air and just being in your own thoughts that's like self-care in itself also i'm super happy to be back and to have all the energy and i am so happy to start creating more content and like just having so much fun this year and also don't forget to share with your friends and your girlfriends so we can grow together to stay safe and i'll see you all in my next video